I just cracked a Bitcoin wallet password. Good morning and welcome to vlog number two of me studying SANS SEC 401 Security Essentials Network Endpoint and Cloud. So today is day number two, started bright and early at 7 a.m. my time, which is 9 a.m. Eastern time. So far we've done one hour of studying, we've finished book number one and we started book number two currently studying defense in depth and the balance between the conf confidentiality, availability, and integrity. It's pretty early. I still need coffee. I think one of my biggest takeaways so far is that every organization is different and you have to understand that's what we started the actual uh, class with we started talking about what is what are the priorities for your organization what is the mission of the company what is the company trying to achieve and therefore what assets should it prioritize in terms of confidentiality integrity and availability because those three things yes they are all important but for different organizations different things may be more important so that's very interesting. I love the philosophical approach to some of these topics and the, yeah, the philosophy, the balance of certain things in security. It's, it's very interesting because everybody will have their own balance based on their priorities and what they're trying to achieve. If you're new here, make sure to check out Monday's vlog from day number one, which I will leave a link to over here and also in the description. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy another two and a half minutes of the break, gonna go get some coffee, and I will keep you posted on how the course is going. Again, this vlog will cover days two and three of the course, and I'll share my experiences, my thoughts, general yeah notes that I think you should know about the course as I go along. time for a lunch break and I'm gonna go for a run outside because it was such a nice and energizing way to change the environment and also you know get moving to stay focused and continue being able to study and take in information in this boot camp style of a course so the modules that we have covered so far before lunch is defense in depth and identity and access management. And we just started a new module, module eight, authentication and password security. We talked about this kind of stuff in the um, identity and access um, management, but right now I think we are going deeper into different types of authentication, which is very exciting. And, you know, I have some basics in this because I've been doing a lot of cybersecurity challenges and all that stuff as a user and also having worked at an organization like Google where this kind of stuff was taken seriously and I had multi-factor authentication tokens, etc. It's been a very nice introduction to the topic and I'm very excited to learn all about it and have a very solid foundation and understanding of why it is done, how it is done, etc. Gonna go for a run right now. I'll see you after the lunch break. I just got back from the run and I have eight minutes before class starts after lunch break, so I'm gonna go shower now, yes. All right, we are on to the first lab of the day. We're going to be using Hashcat, well, learn how, how to use it and crack some passwords. One of them is going to be a hash from a Bitcoin wallet. Very exciting, let's get cracking. <laughs> I just cracked a Bitcoin wallet password. <laughs> Lab one ran late for me and some other students just because Hashcat took a longer time to crack some of the passwords. But yeah, <laughs> managed to succeed after all. And I just did lab two as well, which was all about cracking more passwords. And right now, because I finished early, right now I'm running a brute force attack. What? I didn't think I would ever say these words, ever. I'm running a brute force attack. Obviously using materials that have been provided by the course, so I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just using the, you know, information that has been provided to me that I can play around with. I decided to change environments because it was nice to get out of my office and you know, that's healthy. 
but we are currently still on the lab break. The instructor did tell us that this lab may take less time than he gave us, so it's also a break, which is very nice. By the way, if you have any questions regarding this course, or my experience or anything else, please ask them in the comments because I will be answering all of them if I can, if I have enough information. And also I will do a Q&A with the instructor slash the creator of this course later down the line. So put all of your questions into those comments. Lab three is done and we are almost done with today's lecture. So the instructor said that with the remaining time, he will give some tips on the exam because there was a question in the Slack channel on some of the uh, protocols, I believe, that uh, whether we need to know them in details or not for the exam. But yeah, this is how much is left of, the, of today's lecture. It's almost four, which means that we have an hour still left. So we will definitely go through these materials and I'm very excited to learn more tips about the exam. I will definitely share them with you either in this video or in the next, depending on what is going to be the most relevant. And that's a wrap of day two. We covered a bunch of topics. The labs were very interesting. Um, a lot of information about authentication and password cracking, all that good stuff. And then we finished on mobile security, which is a huge topic and such an interesting one because these babies bring a lot of vulnerabilities into our lives, into the lives of companies that are trying to protect their files, etc. There's been a really cool discussion in the Slack channel with fellow students today. A lot of really cool stuff. It's very nice to have other people that are learning alongside of you and are sharing resources, you know, anecdotes, etc. And of course, the instructor's stories are great as always. I will now go unplug. <laughs> been plugged in for a while. So I'll go unplug, enjoy my evening, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for day three. Good morning. Today is day three. I've already started the lecture. I didn't want to film the intro when I was super sleepy, but now that I'm a little bit more awoken, I can talk to you. Today we have an exciting and a very big day ahead of us as well. We're talking about vulnerabilities. We've already done a module on a vulnerability assessment. The next module is all about penetration testing and we're going to have a lab for that. Then we're going to talk about attacks and malicious software with another lab, web application security with another lab, security operations and log management, digital forensics and incident response with another lab. I am not going to lie, I'm very excited for that last module of the day. And just like that, we're onto our first lab of the day, which is actually joined with a lunch break. So we have 25 minutes for the lab and then one hour for a lunch break when I'm gonna go for another run. But this lab is the first lab of the day and it's within the penetration testing module. So we're using the Nmap tool. I'm pretty excited to explore this. got back from the run with three minutes still remaining in the break. So right on time, enough time for me to breathe, drink some water and get ready. And hopefully I can shower during the next break that coincides with a lab. Let's get back to work. And that's a wrap for day three. And this video. Before we go though, I wanted to share some thoughts on the format of the course and the course itself. And then the next video is going to show you the end of the course and also give you some tips on the exam for SEC 401. First of all, I love this format. 
Live online is very nice because you have real-time interaction and you're learning from an expert real-time, which I forgot how nice it is. <laughs> and especially when you're interacting with the instructor and Brian Simon has such amazing real life examples from his personal life and experience and work experience, which makes the whole, you know, studying experience just that much more interesting. Not that the other course that I did with, which was, you know, on demand, not that it didn't have that. Like I love those anecdotes. Trust me. It's just the live interaction. We're, we're talking over Slack all the time with him and he asked us questions and we wrote, thumbs up or thumbs down. It's very, very interactive, which I really like. You also get to interact with other students and it feels like you're all in this boat together, which is kind of a nice sense of camaraderie. And a lot of students are sharing their experiences, backgrounds, and also different resources that they have uh, heard of or, you know, when, it, when we're talking about different things. For example, we were talking about backups and testing backups, or we were talking about the different tools that red teams use to, you know, sniff all those networks and whatever, and everybody was sharing some of the things that are in their uh, you know, wish list essentially for when they're legally allowed to work in the field. It's very nice. And they're teaching assistants, which can help. Literally, I just finished the last lab and the teaching assistant was super helpful pointing out certain mistakes that I've made. And it, it, it's very nice to have that support. It's a very nice interactive format while being remote, while being, while doing it from my office. I also really like the fact that there is a discipline, there is a schedule. I've mentioned that in the previous video, but I have to reiterate how important it is for someone like me who needs to be more intentional about taking breaks and there are breaks built in and I can plan out my day based on, you know, like the lunch break is my workout session outside. Breaks and labs are kind of coincided and sometimes labs run longer so I can do other things like go take a shower or prepare lunch in one of those breaks that has been meal prepped already. And finally, on the format, I really love these printed notes, um, printed materials that you receive because you are consuming information in different formats. You are listening, you're reading the lecture slides, and also you get to write your own notes in the analog format, which is huge for me. I'm dyslexic, so I need different formats of information intake to really understand it, to really solidify that information. And of course, I love the instructor. He is wonderful. Brian Simon, who is the creator of the course as an instructor of this particular session, and he is awesome. As for the course information, it is very much centered around the different aspects of defense, uh, the different variables that you have to think of when it comes to defending an organization. It gives you a very good understanding of the landscape, of the cybersecurity landscape, of the different processes that have to happen, of the different things that have to be in place, of the different potential of the potential threats that are out there. And we're talking about the different case studies like the Equifax um, case study or the Marriott one. It is really building on my on the foundation that the Foundations in Cybersecurity course has given me and going deeper, making it even more hands on because we are interacting with tools that I have seen or heard of before during the Foundations course and, you know, actually getting some hands-on experience with them and with other tools as well. So that's it for this video. I'm really excited for the next three days and I will summarize them in the next video. So watch out for that, that's coming soon. And I'll also share the exam tips that Brian Simon has given us in that next video. So, you know, watch out for that. I'm really excited for the next three days because we're getting into crypt cryptography tomorrow. Okay, it's been a long day. I'm gonna go relax and unplug and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments because I will be doing a Q&A with an instructor of this program, potentially Brian Simon. So 
yeah, let me know any questions that you may have and watch out for that announcement about the Q&A. Thank you, Sans, for sponsoring this video and for giving me this amazing opportunity to deepen my knowledge in cybersecurity. It is fascinating and yes, I'm definitely even more paranoid or as Brian Simon puts it, I have a much more heightened sense of awareness. <laughs> like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to this YouTube channel not to miss out on any new videos. And of course, turn on those bell notifications if you want to be notified about new uploads. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye.